objective trees. Once you have created a problem tree that outlines your problem, its causes, and its effects, now is the time to start thinking about how you will solve the problem. This is where an objective tree comes into play. The objective tree analysis shows all the potential paths you could take to solve your problem. There are, however, very few organizations who can address all of a problem's causes and effects. This is why just as important as working out where to intervene is deciding where not to intervene. Take Unitas, a company aid organization. It's looking at the causes and effects of increasing rates of waterborne illness in the community. To begin its objective tree, the core problem in the problem tree is transformed into the project's objective. Next, the core problem's causes and effects are turned into areas for improvement. Using the objective tree, team members ask themselves a series of key questions. These are related to which causes and effects their project will address and which ones it won't. Based on these questions, they discover that another organization is already planning to excavate wells. Which is just as well, because Unitas has no experience digging wells. By contrast, building latrines and conducting a public awareness campaign about sanitation is a better fit. Grants are available for latrine projects, and understanding more about sanitation is a clear community priority. Having gone through the process of creating an objective tree, Unitas decides not to excavate wells. Instead, it chooses to build latrines and lead an awareness campaign.